All right, Richard here. I uh, set a new personal record with my FT Explorer today. Um, with this setup, I flew uh, about 4,000 feet. I got uh, right here, I got 1,130 some meters going on and climbing. Um, I'm flying the Wolf Box UHF system from Banggood, uh, really cheap open source. It's pretty comparable to the orange box that uh, Hobby King has. Um, my video system, it is uh, 900 megahertz to 1.3 gigahertz uh, video capability. It's a uh, 12 channel and both systems are 1 watt. Um, I'm on channel 6 right now which is 1160 megahertz and this wind was pretty crazy today. It was about 30, 40 kilometers an hour. I have flown in worse, but um, as I was at this altitude, it really wasn't that bad. It was actually quite nice flying up about this high. Um, I got this UHF system, and me and my wife, we went out to the back roads, and I walked out onto the grid road with a servo and the receiver and a battery in my hand and my wife would take the controller in the car and she'd drive a half kilometer, hop out of the car, wiggle the sticks, hop back in and keep driving and we were on the phone so we could tell when uh, when uh, the video or the video, the receiving system or the control system would stop running. In a straight line from ground level to ground level she made it to two kilometers before uh, everything started getting out of hand and that's with the stock antennas. Um, I read up on the system and apparently it'll be good for 40 kilometers if you have a good antenna set up. Now in this video I'm just flying around um, trying to break my new my new record limits here. Uh, last time I flew I made it to 2,000 feet, and that was on a 5.8 system with the 2.4 gigahertz system um, for uh, control. And I could only make it about 900 meters out. Uh, this one here, uh, there was a school behind me. I had to return or come back towards myself because that school was, was uh, cutting video feed. But I made it to about 1,700 meters out before that started to happen, so I was pretty proud of myself, and I was going into the wind, so coming back, as you can see, my speed was going going pretty good. Um, I have yet to see how far it can go out in an open area, and in this area, in our, our town here, um, there is a lot of radio interference. There's... Uh, there's a UHF radio tower for the emergency services actually in town. Um, so I was actually really surprised at how solid my control link was. My video, I chose 1160 megahertz just because that's the only only band that would work with my, my UHF system. And with them both punching uh, one watt of output power, I was really happy with the results. Um, at this time, I had me, my wife, uh, my buddy Nick, and our two kids there. And uh, yeah, it was a great time. I couldn't ask for a better day to fly, really. It's been actual really, really windy because of these hurricanes going on. It just seems like there's never a day that's calm enough. Um, Unfortunately, at the end of this video, I didn't catch it on video, but uh, I ended up nose diving into the ground, um, probably about 50 feet off the ground. The wind flipped my plane over as I was trying to gain altitude, and of course, you pull back on the sticks, and it makes you go down really quick when uh, you're inverted, and it just it happened fast. The plane's a total loss. I ended up spending a little while here salvaging the electronics and everything seems to be working just fine again. Just gotta put another plane together. Um, speaking of which, uh, I want to shoot a thanks to my boys at uh, Flight Test there for dropping out wicked designs for the Dollarama foam board. Um, the plane I'm flying right now is the FT Explorer. Now, right about here is where 
I decided that I should come in for a landing, um, seeing that my voltage is down to 10 volts, which means my plane's probably about ready to die. But to make damn near 20 minutes off of uh, a 3-cell 5800, um, powering a 1-watt video transmitter and a GPS and all that fun stuff, um, I'm actually really surprised 20 minutes came out of this. And to me, like flying FPV, this 20 minutes, it felt like it was, you know, time slowed down. It felt longer than 20 minutes. Um, anyway, coming in here for my final approach, uh, my buddy Nick, he's running out. You can kind of see him. He's the black dot right in the center right there. He has this idea where I'm going to stall the plane and I'm and he's going to catch it. And uh, there he is. There he caught it right there. And uh, this is really, I guess, the second time he's seen He's seen these uh, FPV setups, so I just decided to add what uh, I recorded on the camera when he was screwing around with the camera. I thought it was quite funny, so just to slightly embarrass him, I decided to put this on, on the video there too. Um, pretty soon here, it's going to show me uh, my limits. My OSD is a RAM ZB version 2. And it's a pain in the ass to actually find anything about it. I can't get an RSSI pin on it for the for the feed, as you can see in the top right corner. Um, it doesn't tell me my signal strength accurately. But there, there we go. We got my uh, maximum uh, distance from self is 1,700 meters, which is actually quite well, and uh, 1,558 meters altitude. Thanks, guys. See you later.